Well, you guys got another video here for you. Microsoft clears the way for a Windows 11. Microsoft have ended support for Windows 10 on October 14th, 2025. Now, there's been quite a lot of uh, speculation about the name of the latest version of Windows, whether it will be Windows 11, whether it will be uh, Windows uh, Sun Valley, or whether it's going to be just called Windows. We don't know. We'll find out on June 24th on 11 a.m. Eastern Time uh, when uh, Microsoft will make their announcement of their latest project. Now, you get a lot of people saying that Windows 10 was going to be the last operating system and there was going to be no more operating systems after that. Microsoft announced this themselves way back, as you can see here, in May 8th, uh, 2015. Microsoft confirms there will be no Windows 11. So that was a long time ago. And uh, basically, they were claiming back then there was going to be no Windows 11. And they basically said back then that Windows 10 will be the final release you can see here, Microsoft says that Windows 10 will be its final release of its iconic operating system that installed on over 90% of computers. That was their claim way back then. But in my personal opinion, Windows 10 has not been that successful and it has been plagued with bugs and problems. And I think Microsoft want to detach themselves from Windows 10 as much as they can and they're probably going to come back with a fresh new look and a fresh new name for its latest operating system. If we look back to this article on Computer World, it says all editions of Windows 10 get a 10 years of updates and support. This was way back on July 17th, 2015. And it was reported back then. And guess what they said back then? If we ever look here, it says Windows 10 will be supported for five years in the mainstream support until October 13, 2020, and then another five years in extended support until October 14, 2025. So how accurate was that report back then on 2015 by Greg? What an awesome report, because he was bang on the money. Because just lately, Microsoft have made a change on their documentation on their website here. If you look here, important, this has just been released. It says Microsoft will continue to support at least one Windows 10 semi-annual channel until October 14th, 2025. Pretty accurate. So this means it's going to be end of life uh, for uh, Windows 10. And you can see here, Windows 10 Home and Pro start date, and you can see the retirement date. So if there's going to be no more other operating systems, why are they retiring Windows 10? So they've only just updated this document. So it tells me that something new is coming, and whether that's going to be Windows 11, Windows Sun Valley, or there's going to be some other name related to another operating system, I don't know. We we'll just have to wait and see until June uh, 24th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. But normally Microsoft have a 10-year support life cycle that Microsoft maintained for previous versions of Windows. It's been done for many, many years. Nothing has changed. But I think Windows 10, they were trying to uh, make that the very last operating system, but it just hasn't worked out. And for some reason, they're going with something new, a new fresh start. I don't know. The Windows 10 is literally still embedded in the latest version that you see me showing you on my previous video. So it's not a complete new operating system. It has still got a lot of Windows 10 uh, embedded in that operating system. And probably a lot of other operating systems of like Windows 7 has still got a bit of the code still in that release. So it's not a completely fresh new coded uh, operating system as far as I can see. So for all those people that were saying Windows 10 is just going to be a Windows 10 upgrade, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. And it looks like that is going to be the end of Windows 10. Now, this release that they are going to be announcing on the 24th of June uh, doesn't seem to be a Windows 10 upgrade when they're going to be ending support for it in such a short space of time. I can't see 
the point in such a big event and announcement for something that's going to end uh, in 2025. As you can see on Computer World here, uh, they actually say that it's going to be the end. So this guy has been pretty accurate on some of his uh, previous statements. So I'm pretty sure that this is what's going to happen. You can check the life uh, cycle here, and you can also check uh, this site here, which gives you all the information, which is up to date. Uh, and these guys get the inside information a lot more before than other people like me and everyone else. And you can see down here that you can see here, this literally means that the next generation of Windows that Microsoft will reveal next week, in fact, not Windows 10, at least for marketing and branding uh, perspective, and it will be named Windows 11, Windows Sun Valley, or some other name not related to Windows 10. So for those people that say that Windows 10 is going to get an upgrade and it's still going to be Windows 10, I don't think that's the case. I think Windows 10 is done and dusted. Uh, its 10-year support lifecycle will be over on 2025, and I think that will be the end of it. And I think soon we will see uh, there will be a new version. But I guess this speculation will continue on YouTube. People continue to make Windows 11 videos when we don't know whether it's going to be officially called Windows 11. But at the end of the day, we can always change the title to whatever it's going to be called, whether it will be just Windows, Windows 11, Windows Sun Valley, or some other name related to Microsoft, what they want to call it. So we'll soon find out when it comes on June 24th. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Thank you.